Although the main thrust of his life's work was the achievement of India's independence, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi has had a profound influence on the world beyond the subcontinent, including here in South Africa. His doctrine of speaking truth to power through non-violent means has inspired civil rights leaders and fighters for democracy such as Dr. Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela, and people continue to follow his example. He acquired the honorific Mahatma, meaning high-souled in Sanskrit, but with characteristic humility, he preferred to be called Bapu or Father. This has been taken as the title of a new dance work created by choreographer Sunny Boy Motao, and it was performed by the Moving Into Dance Company as a tribute to this iconic figure and his message. Kriya met up with the choreographer and the dancers to discuss the work and then experience a performance. The young Mohandas Gandhi spent his childhood in a coastal town in the princely state of Porbandar in British-ruled India. As a young man, he travelled to London to study law and later practiced in South Africa, where his political consciousness was awakened. This paved the way for his return to India in 1915, where he campaigned tirelessly against British rule and social injustices using civil disobedience and non-violent protest. Although he lived to see India achieve independence, his life was cut short by an extremist at the age of 78, but his spirit lives on. Based in Josie, Moving Into Dance is a leading local performing arts organization and it was the first non-racial dance company to be established in the city. Korea met the chief executive Nadia Virasamy. Nadia, it's quite an honor to be part of a company that's now getting to 40 years old. Tell me a little bit about Moving Into Dance and what exactly it does. We recruit youth from across the country from highly underprivileged backgrounds and train them in our three-year accredited training course. What is it that Moving Into Dance wants to achieve? We firmly believe that dance is the tool we use to empowerment, to job creation, to improving lives. We've produced numerous award-winning works, award-winning dancers, and we continue to be a primary feeder of trained dancers into the broader industry, nurturing African leaders through dance. Moving into dance was established at a time when racial and political tensions ran high in apartheid-era South Africa, and the company strives to present work that is relevant to the current day. As artistic director Mark Hawkins explained. Mark, as artistic director, what was the inspiration behind this piece? A lot of the work that we do at Moving Into Dance is either issue-based or story. It was going to be the 150th anniversary of Gandhi, and I went to Sonny Boy, who's the choreographer, and I said, what about creating something new? So it started off as this kind of beautiful piece with these incidents in his life that are kind of depicted, but it's not a story, it's not a documentary. It's really just a celebration. Dancer and choreographer Sunny Boy Matao has worked with a number of international dancers and companies and toured Russia in 2016 as part of a combined Russian-South African season. He has also won a number of awards for the works he has created. Izo, that's it. Hi, how are you? You've been in the dance world for quite some time. Where did the passion come from? Around 98, 99, uh, I was exposed into theatre and dance. So I fell in love with an idea of telling stories using either my voice or using my body. And ever since, I've been with the company as a dancer and a choreographer. Yeah. You've created this piece for Gandhi. Tell me a little bit about it and where did the inspiration come from? The piece is called Bapu. Bapu is like a father within the Indian context. It's more like celebrating Gandhi's life as an activist, as a father, as a mentor. And those are the elements that we try to play around with within the work. So we've tried to fuse a bit of Indian dance within what we have created. What is it that you hope people take home with them after watching it? If they can learn from what he has done in terms of empowering us as a community, especially now in this time in era, bringing us together. I am really keen to see this dance now. Okay, guys, uh, let's take it from the top, then. Six, seven, eight. about the dance and what does it mean to you? This piece is, is talking about someone who's a leader or a, a father to other nations. It's a blessing to do this piece. 
How does dance bring people together? Dance is a language. We can come from different cultures, different speaking different languages, but when you dance together, it's like the same language. Asanda, why do you think it's important for us to have a piece like this in the times that we're in at the moment? There's a new generation and a new era. I am a born free myself. We are stuck in this line where we not know where to go and where we come from. So this is a way or a channel for me to research more of my history. Do you think that dance really does bring people together? It has to. When you are born, you are dancing. When we are happy, we are dancing. So movement is life. You cannot take that away. You cannot change it. Like many fathers, the Mahatma is a complex figure who developed as an individual, a thinker and a leader. Dance is an ideal medium for his universal and timeless message, calling on us to open our minds to the potential for speaking truth to power through non-violence.